We begin with that breaking news in the war in Gaza. Hamas announcing they've agreed to a ceasefire deal. And today there have been ex explosions in Rafah, where Israel is preparing for a ground operation in that city. And our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live in Washington with much more. Ben. Well, Kyle Medical, the IDF does confirm they are striking Hamas targets in eastern Rafah this afternoon. And it comes as this proposed ceasefire is on the table, which means Americans still being held hostage by Hamas could be one step closer to coming home. Hamas announced Monday it accepted an Egyptian Qatari proposal for a ceasefire with Israel, as the White House says they received the response and are reviewing it. We are at a critical stage right now. Uh, we got a response from Hamas. It would mark the first truce since the week-long pause in fighting back in November. But a senior Israeli official with knowledge of the negotiations told ABC News that it appears it's not the same deal that was under discussion. With the details limited at this time, it is reported the proposal would include the release of Palestinian prisoners in exchange for hostages held by the militant group. We want to get these hostages out. We want to get a ceasefire in place for six weeks. We want to increase humanitarian assistance. And the last thing that I want to do is say anything at this podium that's going to put that process at risk. President Joe Biden spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today before Hamas greenlit the ceasefire proposal. It comes after the IDF urged 100,000 Palestinians to evacuate southern Rafah ahead of an expected ground offensive, a move the U.S. is against, with more than a million civilians seeking refuge in the city. The problem the Biden administration says is there's no place for these civilians to go. It is a war zone as this proposed ceasefire would allow time to get humanitarian aid in. Reporting live in Washington, D.C., Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.